Hello everyone, Pastor Seth here. I hope this message finds you all doing well. I want to share with you today about a gift that my family was given and honestly we did not initially consider it a gift. A Carolina Wren decided that she wanted to make her nest in our screened-in porch and three different times we took the nest and we threw it out not wanting to be unable to go into the porch for an extended period of time. But our middle child, Nora, petitioned us and pleaded and said, please just let the mother wren make her nest. And so we finally relented. And in a pot of pansies on the screened in porch, the wren built a nest and uh, put four eggs in there. And they recently hatched. And I tell you, it has been such a joy uh, to watch this wren throughout the weeks. And I feel like we have all learned a tremendous amount from this wren. We've had a lot of opportunities to have conversations with the kids about all the different things we're learning. One, she was resilient and persistent. It didn't matter that we threw out her nest three different times. She knew that that was a safe place and it's where she wanted to be. And so she kept coming back. We were also just so amazed by her creativity about how she brought different materials in to make the nest and how she picked a pot of pansies to build this nest in. Also amazed by her patience as she sat there week after week and as our kids became very impatient wanting to see these eggs hatch. And now that they have hatched, what we've been equally as impressed with is her industriousness, her work effort. She's feeding these four chicks every 15 to 20 minutes. And so as we watch the wren throughout the day, she comes in with a worm in her mouth or some insect, she feeds the little baby birds and then she's off again. And then sitting back in there in the evenings. She's working so hard to keep her young ones fed and nourished so they can eventually leave the nest. And, and when that day comes, we'll be able to use the screened in porch with more regularity. But uh, We'll be sad to see them go. We've learned a tremendous amount. I share this with you because truly it has been a gift for our family, but I feel like each and every day we're given the opportunity to embrace these gifts from God within God's creation. And that's especially true in the season that we're entering in where the days are longer, the temperature is warmer, and we're able to be outside. It's a, a lot of fun with small children uh, teaching them these lessons that creation so readily offers to us. Our psalm reading for this upcoming Sunday, it's one of my favorite psalms, it's Psalm 8, and it talks about uh, creation and how we can see God within creation and how in looking at the night sky, looking at the stars, looking at the sun, that we are reminded of how small we are, but yet the truth that God cares for us. I'm going to read a portion of this psalm for you uh, today. And I'm reading from the message, a paraphrase phrase of scripture from Eugene Peterson. It's uh, Psalm 8, our psalm for this week. I look up at your macro skies, dark and enormous, your handmade sky jewelry, moon and stars mounted in their settings. And then I look at my micro self and wonder, why do you bother with us? Why take a second look our way? Yet we've so narrowly missed being God's bright with Eden's dawn light. You put us in charge of your handcraft world, repeated to us your Genesis charge, made us lords of sheep and cattle, even animals out in the wild, birds flying and fish swimming, whales singing in the ocean deeps. God, brilliant Lord, your name echoes around the world. Psalm 8. So this week, I hope you're able to be out in God's creation. I hope you're able to stare up at the brilliant sky. I hope you're able to cherish the gifts that God gives us each and every day. I also hope that we are together again soon I trust and pray that that will indeed happen. But until we are together, may you be reminded of God's love and grace that continues to bind us all together.